Alrighty, hello and welcome to the break here. Um, I've got, well, this is going to be the first uh, contenders ever that I'm opening. So we've got uh, playoff, you got contenders blasters. These are going to be the first contenders blasters I'm ever going to open. Um, and same with the megas. I got three megas from Target a while back. Um, and they haven't really, I don't think that they released any cards this week, so, um, <laughs> these are early wave stuff, so typically what I hear is the early wave stuff is pretty decent, but anyways, I got three Megas here, um, I like to let you guys choose your boxes, well, I mean, not all your boxes, because I literally have about 20 of these, uh, 50 of these, so my point is, is, um, I, I like to let you guys choose your boxes, but not for the everything. So for the bigger stuff, so for the mega box, um, I pulled out all three mega boxes I have. If I had like 10, I might let you choose one of the 10. But um, since I've only got three, you know, only could choose one of three. Hey, Kenny, how's it going? How is it going? You're not in this break, are you? I, I was, uh, I'm a few minutes late here because I was um, updating the team list. Um, I was uh, putting your names next to the teams that you bought. I do that because, um, well, I'll explain it in my rules of the break. Are there any college cards in here? No, so sweet. I don't have to go over college rules. For, but the, I have college a few college cards in my uh, break tomorrow. But anyways, um, nice. So I get to I'm, – I'm almost done with college cards. Well, not really. I still have a bunch of packs left. But almost out of college blasters. So I'm... I Oh, six viewers right now. Um, I'm just getting everything set up on my laptop, ready to go. And then I will begin... All right, gonna pull it up on my screen here. I can't read the comments on my phone, so I'm pulling it up on my laptop real quick, and I will answer the comments in a second. Make sure that no one needs to join the group. I think everyone who's in is in. If I had to go, what's the YouTube replay on? Um, it's it'll be on my YouTube, but um, if you have to go, I mean it, it happens. Um, so no worries there. If you have to go, honestly, come back here. It'll be on my Facebook group. Uh, you don't even have to go to YouTube, but it'll also be on my YouTube. The link is also in the description of my listing there. Um, but if you have to go, it'll it it'll be on my Facebook group here. So. Uh, someone Packers breaks same same group, so you don't have to go anywhere. Um, super nice. I I prefer Facebook. Um, Roger Smith, Roger, are you here? I just saw your post. All right. Oh, Roger, cool. I see it. You found me. Awesome. All right. So anyways, uh, I will get started with the break here. All right. So, um, well, I mean, I'll start with the rules and say a little bit about me. I'd start off that with every break. But anyways, uh, here are the team names. So um, I have a break ending today. Uh, that is not filled yet or well it's not filled it hasn't ended yet so i have a break ending today that's all this stuff that you see behind here um 
it has playbook, mosaic, so I like to do a wide variety of my breaks, uh, keeping different products in each break. So anyways, here's the team names. So you should be watching the uh you, you should be watching the video if you know that you're in this break because the other break hasn't quite ended yet. Uh the link if you want to grab spots is I posted it. Um otherwise same as the seller, whatever. Um say in this group also if you want, I sell the leftover teams for cheap, like Chuck here, but uh all the leftover teams for five bucks. So those are the teams that never sold. And I do deals on teams that uh don't sell. I want all the cards to go to someone, except for Packers. Packers are my team, so if Packers don't sell, or sometimes I don't sell the Packers, so I keep the Packers intentionally. Um, and yeah, so, uh, and then I add up what the cost for uh, the teams, what it all adds up to. Uh, I note this in every one of my breaks because I've only had to do it twice out of like, I've probably done 150 breaks, but I add up all the price of Danny, go back, go, yes, I. I am from Green Bay, but um, I'll, I'll say more about that in a sec. Um, oh, yeah, I, I see that you have the Packers. But, yeah, so I add up all the price for all the cards that I put into the break. So here, I'd say, I think I did the math. It was like 250 to 270 worth of cards. And this is what they sell for on eBay. eBay takes out a fee. They take out a big chunk of that, actually, so I'm not getting 357 so, point thirty one. So I add up whatever I put in. So product here... 250 to 270 uh, after tax and then i buy supplies brand new so it's, you're getting brand new supplies so i factor in average cost of supplies per break uh sleeves you know top loaders team bags even so i factor everything in even shipping supplies even tape because I go through tape like crazy, selling just, I, I do more than just breaks, but selling just in general. But I take into consideration, I'd say about average 20 to 30 bucks uh, for supplies. So add on two, uh, 30 bucks to 250 to 270, so that's about 300 bucks. So after fees and everything, this I'm not gonna lose money, so I just make sure that I don't lose money here. And if I were to lose money, I uh, have it written in the description where I cancel the break. Um, so I've only had to do it twice, both times I would have literally lost 150 bucks. Uh, or 200 closer to 200. Um, I just say that in all my breaks in case it does happen. Um, I don't like letting people down and it can be frustrating. I've, the f few times I've done it, I've frustrated a person or two. Um, <laughs> but I don't want, I don't like frustrating people. So that's my reason behind it. Um, I don't care. I mean, what, whatever I make is greatly appreciated. I love doing breaks. It's super fun for me. Super fun hobby. But, um, I just don't want to lose money. Don't, I mean, it just feels weird to give stuff away. So also doing breaks, um, if you didn't know, if you don't do breaks or if you didn't know, I have to sort out all the cards. It takes about, I'm not joking, four to six hours, you know, doing the listings, opening the cards, doing everything. It takes a long time. So that's just life behind the scenes, I guess, um, if no one no breaker really talks about it so i just give a quick you know few minute intro or story as to <laughs> the reason behind that but um anyways so rules of this break uh i'll just jump into the rules of the break and then i like to say a little bit about me um so that you, you get to know me because dan here is a packer fan too um but i also have a lot of cool things um or a few cool things i'd say that are pretty unique from other breakers um anyways so rules of the break there's no college card so don't have to cover that so any card will go to whatever team is on the card if there's any multi-team cards i will random or i will roll a dice and it'll go to someone one of the teams that is on the card um if there's any panini points i will random this list starting from top to bottom i've had to do it a couple times i'd say about well, more than a couple, but I've done it quite a few times. So I random.org the list. Someone will end up winning the points if that happens. Hopefully not, because um, we want autos here. We want the one of ones. Um, and um, any other rules? Uh, all hits will get sleeved, top-loaded. You know, also, just to throw out something, um, 
with the price that I factor in. The more money that the break makes, uh, the more generous I am with supplies. So all rookies will get sleeved, if not most. Um, and all hits will get top loaded. So um, I know what the value is for football especially. So I'm saying but also your, every business have... Yeah, I mean that's what that's what people say is that uh, uh, running a business uh, taking a loss. The thing that the counter, um, what I counter with that is, I don't. <laughs> I I've done many breaks where I I've basically broken even, and just doing as as much work as what I put in, it just doesn't feel right to not at least break even. I I don't I mean. I don't know. It just feel weird to basically have two hundred dollars and walk away with a hundred for doing six hours of work. I don't know. For me, it's I've only had to do it twice, but I don't know. It just feels weird in my mind to do that. And it's I mean it the way that eBay sees it, it is a business. So it's but I don't know. It started off as more of a hobby for me. It wasn't really that big. Um. But I mean, that's just the way that I see it. I put in. I I don't know. I don't know if you if you quite. Um, or I don't know if many people know what breakers do, but it takes a lot of work. So I don't care as long as I break even. That's all I really care about. So also, it goes. It gets sent to my taxes. So whatever money it does make, um, it it's just it's just a headache on my end. So that's just my stance on it. Anyways, um, so th that's the rules. So a little bit about me. Uh, I am 23 years old, just graduated college. So I am a PE teacher, fun fact. So I love sports. Um, I've just moved out on my own. This is my first year teaching. Uh, I'm from Green Bay, if I didn't say that already. I think I did. Um, so I, I moved out about an hour and a half away from Green Bay. Um, any money I make is greatly appreciated. It goes back into buying uh, cards in the short run, card supplies. Um, so it goes back into the, the hobby or the breaking business here that I'm running. Because um, I will literally, the other day, yesterday, I spent a 1000 bucks on cards. Uh, and then I spend 200 bucks on supplies a, um, at each time. So card supplies, I spend about 100 150 Shipping supplies, so bubble mailers and shipping supplies, I spend another 100, 150, so about 200, 300 bucks. So I spent quite a bit of money. Um, in the short run, that's where the money goes to. In the long run, if there's any true money I make, it, well, I mean, as a single solo guy, it goes to helping me pay for rent. But also, um, I am, my grandpa, he just got his season tickets to the Packers four years ago. And since they are now mobile only tickets, he transferred uh, two of his four tickets into my name. So, um, I like to show it off, but here's an email I got. Um, it was a while ago, a few months ago, but I already paid it, but, um, I, sh I actually showed the invoice in a few of my breaks. I p it's, a uh, about se 1600 to 1700 bucks for the year for season tickets. So that's where my fun quote, fun spending money goes to. Um, that's what I'm saving up for. Also, <laughs> uh, I owe my grandpa $4,200 for the licensing fee because that's how much it costs just to put them into my name. Um, I mean, technically the Packers were supposed to refund him and then I pay the Packers that much money, but instead they just said, hey, you just pay him 4200 bucks." So my grandpa's nice, though. He said I could pay him um, eat, uh, slowly, so like I could pay half of it this year, half of it next year. So that's what I... Um, that's where my uh, fun money goes to. Um, and if you ever need any tickets, let, uh, let me know. <laughs> I've helped quite a few people in my breaks get tickets last year. Um, one last thing. Uh, something cool that I collect. I, I, I noticed that a few of my breakers collect this stuff too. Is I collect game more memorabilia. So it's jerseys, game pants, um, hand warmers. 
Yeah, Dan, thank you. I, if you don't know anything about the season ticket waiting list, it's hundreds of, you know, it's at least 100 years long. So I would be shocked if I'm not the youngest season ticket holder, to be honest. So it's a, it's a flex. <laughs> it's my own flex, but uh, um, I, I think that is super sweet. Why not brag about it? <laughs> um, so I used to work at the factory, actually, though, that makes the players jerseys, pants, and hand warmers. Um, so the jerseys that you buy from Nike or from the pro shop, whatever chargers pro shop are actually like this Jersey, Justin Herbert's wearing right here. It's not the actual one that you'd be buying from the pro shop, the $300 elite Jersey or whatever. Um, the actual jerseys and game pants and equipment that they wear is made here in Wisconsin. So I worked at the factory. I got a lot of cool stuff. Um, I, I, uh, am, I sold a lot of patches. I had patches. I sold those for two bucks a piece. I had a bunch of other cool things like jerseys. But now I'm down to a few things, but just a few things I have. Um, and just to show you, I mean, it's quite interesting. You could quiz your friends on this on Sunday nights when you're watching football. But here's an Eagles hand warmer I have. I have 15 of these left. If you're an Eagles fan, this is great. Uh, I'm selling these for 30 bucks a piece. Where is it at? Oh, the tag is right here. All right, so 30 bucks a piece. These are real authentic, made for the players. Uh, you can see the tag here, Rippin Athletic, made in Berlin, Wisconsin, USA. So the company is called Rippin Athletic, made in Berlin, Wisconsin. That's a town. It's not far from Green Bay. And then these, I've got, um, I actually have Aaron Rodgers' worn pair, but I've got quite a few of these right now, Packer game pants. I bought these straight from the Packers, though, not from the factory I worked at. I got a lot of stuff from the factory I was working at, um, but these are Packer game pants, so you can see green and yellow. Um, so these are th pants that the players would actually wear, and you can see made in Berlin, Wisconsin, USA, so same thing. All 32 teams, every single uniform that they wear, on game day on the field is made in Berlin, Wisconsin. So it's a cool um it's a cool thing to to uh know, I guess, a cool fun fact. So I, I'm selling those also. Those are actually on my eBay. Um but if anyone is interested in anything and I have I'm I probably have a a lot of other cool things that I got my hands on. So that's just a little fun stuff about me but anyways we'll get started with the break i'll start with the packs then i'll go to the hangers and the blasters and oh yeah the mega um i'll let you guys choose a mega right right now so one two three first number i see one two three is what we'll do while i read these comments those pe mate was going to teach oh yeah craig yeah i love it i love it it's a super fun job i, I teach high school got any cowboys uh, my buddy, so two, we'll do this one. Uh, my buddy actually has some Cowboys jerseys. I used to have a bunch of Cowboys. I sold them all. My buddy actually has some Cowboys jerseys. He's selling for, I think, 100 a piece, maybe 80. Um, they're blank, though. They're real authentic ones that the players would wear. They just don't have any numbers or names on them. So you could customize it for whatever you want. Um, so... Oh, oh yeah, you live in Chicago. Yeah, I. There's actually quite a few Chicago fans in in Green Bay. I'll, I'll tell you that it's where I grew up at. Um, it, getting this camera situated, and then we will get going. It's where I grew up at and went to high school. But then I went to college, um, in the middle of Wisconsin at Stevens Point. If you heard of that, so I went to UW Stevens Point, and now I'm living currently by Madison teaching PE at a high school. All right, I'm going to try to fix this camera so I don't have any issues. All right, here we go. But, yeah, if, uh, otherwise, um, Roger, if you want uh, – if you're interested in a Cowboys jersey, let me know. My buddy has some. Um, I can see what he would do, a deal if he would do one. And if you want anything else, Cowboys, I had some hand warmers and patches, but I could – I know a bunch of people who have some other stuff, so – let me know. I could send you in the right direction. Travis Fulgham, uh, Alan Robinson, Evan Ingram, Tredavious White, James White, uh, Lamar Jackson, Justin Jefferson, uh, Debo Samuel, Xavier Howard, Brian Burns, 
Johnny Hecker, Mike Vick, Kyler Murray, Michael Pittman Jr., Terry McLaurin. I hate how they put these backwards. Josh Allen. That's that's a pretty sweet card. Um, I like that the this year has the masks, so it's very unique. Alejandro Villanova, Brett Favre. That's who I was named after. Adrian Amos, Tyree Kill, Devontae Adams. This pack had three Packers. Joe Montana. Uh, Chubba Hubbard, so all rookies will get sleeved, I think. Uh, I mean, that's usually what I do. Patrick Chetain, <laughs> Greg Rasu, yeah, I'll sleeve all rookies. Uh, Bradley Chubb, Malcolm Jenkins, Ty- uh, Travis Kelsey, uh, Larry Rotre, and Baker Mayfield. So I top load all rookie parallels also as well. Oh, yeah. Kyle, Kyle's watching. If you want the Cowboys jersey, DM Kyle. I don't know if he has any patches either. <laughs> well, that just saves time. If you, yeah, Kyle is the one. Um, he is also from Green Bay with me, but he moved to California. So um, he's not here anymore. But when he was here, he went to the sale with me. Um, I told him I told him about the sale, and he got a bunch of a bunch of Cowboys jerseys, more than I did. So he's got quite a few left. And the ones he has though are actually pretty sweet. They they're uh, ret- they're the retro throwback ones from Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving game when they had Reebok. So they're pretty unique actually. For a hundred bucks, it's not a bad price considering the cheapest fake retail jersey is. 100 bucks but then again well i mean it's blank so you could customize it however you want does the sale happen every year no it i heard that it was only like a i i think it's only probably once in five to ten year sale devin mccordy they were just cleaning out their inventory uh justin tucker randy moss sean alexander drew Locke, jimmy garoppolo o odell beckham jr derrick henry TJ Hawkinson. I'll tell you my favorite piece that I got there in, after this pack. T.Y. Hilton, Antonio Gibson, Brandon Cooks, uh, Mike Williams, A.J. Brown, Chad Johnson, Quinnen Williams, DeAndre Swift, Kyle Long, Jalen Ramsey, Tyron Matthew, Larry Fitzgerald, Tom Brady, Kyle Trask got top load rookie quarterbacks, so he'll t- get top loaded. Shai Smith, Davis Mills, Richard Sherman, Danny Amendola, Aaron Donald, uh, Quiddy Pay, followed by Chris Godwin. Yeah, the the I mean it's 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 a super good deal. I tell people that all the time, and not many people really listen to me it's a phenomenal deal to be honest even what he's selling them for the most expensive fake retail jersey and i mean fake like it's made over in overseas is 300 bucks and the real ones that the players wear you can find them for less than less than the real game ones that the players wear so um but, oh, yeah, my favorite piece that I got there, um, I'm not selling it. I got LaDane Lane Tomlinson practice jersey. Um, I wish it was his game one, but it was it's his practice jersey. I got that from the factory. Some of them are used because uh, they got worn and they got torn so much that they just sent them back to the factory so that the factory could um, better their quality control, I guess. So I got the Daily and Tomlinson practice jersey, and then I also got, um, it's not, I mean, I don't know the value on it, probably not a ton, but um, I got an AAF, I think it's AAF, uh, football jersey, so, is it AAF? I think it's AAF, if that was the league, um, the 
factory that I worked at also made those jerseys for the AAF for the two years that they were playing, and I ended up getting a issued jersey not worn of I'm trying to remember a player on a team who was a quarterback for the Packers for a preseason. So um, his last name I think was Williams. I think it's Quinn and Williams. I forgot. Lamar Jackson. Marquise Williams, that's his name, Marquise Williams. Justin Herbert, uh, Zeke Elliott, Janu Smith, Jonu, is that how you say? I don't know. Aaron Jones, Deontay Johnson, Derek Carr, Tom Brady, DJ Chark, Matt Ryan, Daniel Jones, OBJ, Nick Boza. I love these cards. I know that playbook isn't the most sought out, but I think that these cards are super sweet. Uh, Chubba Hubbard. Top load him. Oh, nice. Kylan Hill. That's a sparkle. Uh, James Robinson. Matt Ryan. Next up, Kadarius Toney. Uh, Kareem Hunt. DK Metcalf. Blitz. Cornell Powell. Rookie. Kylan Hill again. Just base. Evan Holland. Javante Williams. Chaz Surratt, Jamie Winston, David Montgomery, Pat Fumuth, Tommy Tremble, and Amon Ross St. Brown. I like top loading the hits on the camera so that you can see right away that they are getting taken care of. Dang, for this break, I feel like I should take the Packers. I'd say about half the breaks now I'm starting to take the Packers. I used to never, but um, but lately, I mean, if you think about breaks, another thing that um, I like to mention, and I'm sure you figured this out, it took me a while. It took me about 100 breaks until I finally decided to try it and try my own breaks, and I realized it, but... Um, Breaks are really awesome because you're paying a fraction of the price. So Packers typically sell for, what do they sell for this break? Uh, shipping is at cost, by the way, so I, I don't make anything on shipping. Um, and I I mean, maybe if I make anything on shipping, it covers supplies. But $7.49, $7.49 for the Packers. So, oh, I won't take the Packers from you. But, um, but I mean, you're paying $7.49. Which is a fraction of two fifty what the actual cost of this product is. The only difference is that I'm opening it myself live for you, um, which might take the fun out of it for you. But at the same time, that's more fun for. I mean, it's more convenient for you because you're not putting. A, you can take your two fifty and spread it out into how much into like. 30 different breaks then instead of just paying 250 and keeping only the cards that you want. So uh, that's that's my favorite part about breaks, and that's why I started to take my Packers and my breaks. Marcus May, Jamie, uh, James Robinson, J.J. Watt, Alvin Kamara, Baker Mayfield, Matthew Stafford, A.J. Brown, Russell Wilson, Carson Wentz, uh, Terry McLaurin, Henry Ruggs, Christian McCaffrey, Jalen Hurts, uh, ben Roethlisberger, uh, Tyson Campbell, Nick Chubb. Next up, Ermus, Ermu, uh, I can't say his name, Ermer Smith Marset, whatever. Uh, Ian Book. Um, this one I'm just good. Well, I'll probably top on him. I don't know. I'm putting him in the middle pile. I'm not sure. I mean, that's if that was a base and yeah but i don't think that that insert is quite worth that much uh alvin kamara Devonte parker uh terrence marshall jr elijah molden dax M milne i never heard of him that's interesting christian barmore rondell moore tyree kill marquise brown jalen camp Dwayne Eskridge, and Patrick Jones. 
All right. Um, what do we do next? I haven't opened up a contenders yet, so I want to open one of these up. So I'm gonna. I'll open up one of these. Then I'll probably do playoff, then illusions, and then back to contenders. I want to see what these are like. Zero eight five oh four. A lot of these blasters are also coming from different batches and and uh, cases, so there could be a wide variety of hits or not hits. All right, I'm not sure. Oh, that looks like a patch. That looks like a patch. I'm I'm gonna set that pack down. <laughs> First pack, dang it. I try to I try to um pay attention to which packs feel the thickest, and honestly, all these packs feel the same. So, tried to see which one felt the thickest to see if I could tell if one had a patch. But guess that first one did. So Tyron uh, Tyron Matthew, Marquise Brown, Adam Thielen, Nick Chubb. Fletcher Cox, Brandon Cooks, and Ramondre Stevenson and Michael Carter. Here we go. So finally, product where we have more than one team. These cards, um, let me see. I think that the same. I think the same person has both these teams. No, Robert. Okay. So these cards. Um, what I'm going to do is I am at the end of the break. I am going to. Uh, do a random dice um, on random.org and I will split the dice into two so one of you will have odds, one of you will have evens and whatever it is, whatever the dice rolls on, odds or even then that's who gets it so season ticket, Jimmy Garoppolo LaVetri Chenault, Matt Ryan Mike Gusecki T. Higgins, Marcus May and rookie of the year Justin Fields Wow, I like this. One. I don't. I don't know what. I don't know what these inserts are called because this is my first time opening it. But I, whatever this is called, I like it. I like it. I mean, I. I think that this is probably just a base one or something. But top of this one quick. I forgot to do that. I'm actually going to put this one up front because I like that card. That card is sweet. All right. Next pack. Jameson Crowder. Devontae Adams. Josh Jacobs. Darnell Mooney. Saquon Barkley. Jared Goff. And legendary contenders, Joe Montana. Uh, Mari Cooper, Justin Herbert, Mark Andrews, Nelson Aguilar, Dak Prescott, Ben Roethlisberger, Lamar Jackson, Chain Movers. That's a, nice, that's a funny insert. Next pack. Randall Cobb, AJ Brown. Matthew Safford, Tredavious White, Damian Harris, Mike Evans, and Buda Baker, Power Players. I don't know if this is a special card or not, but it is. I like these. I like the variety. I don't know. It's it's these are super interesting. I don't know. I think that I don't know if this is really top old worthy or not, but I think it looks cool. So rookie, so there we go. All right, here's the patch, I think. Chase Young, Henry Ruggs, Khalil Mack, Daniel Jones, Von Miller, Tyler Lockett, and RTS PFR. Who could this be? I think it's Steelers. Pat Fumuth. Pat Fumuth. 
are these game worn? They are not. Most most patches are not. I actually prefer patches myself because, um, I mean, collecting game worn memorabilia, it's very similar. Sometimes it is game worn, but um, 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 even the even the ones that aren't associated are still pretty neat. I think that this is the right size. All right, so that is patch one. All right, I got a message on eBay, so I'm just gonna check this real quick. Before I move on, I have to make sure that we all are good to go. All right, so um, we will do. You really don't okay, Henry Ruggs. If you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I could. Uh, well, I, I, I don't think I'd throw them away. I don't know what I'd do with them. Any cards I open, I, um, I want them to go to you guys, but I, <laughs> I know what you mean with the whole situation, so. If you don't want them, I, I will make sure to make a note that you do not want any Henry Ruggs. So I will actually type that right now. No rugs for you. That is, yeah, that situation was pretty, pretty disturbing. But, um, yeah, it's... It's interesting because I looking at the Raiders from this last year, I'm trying to think who else was what other Raiders was um a rookie that is highly in demand. Probably rip them up. Honestly I'm not sure what I would do with them either, but um I don't know, maybe I'll I'll probably just well I mean if you don't want them I'll just set them to the side and then um it'll be less weight for the package. So I won't bother sending you any rugs. But uh but yeah, I don't blame you there. Chris Jones, Joe Thomas, Josh Allen, uh Aaron Donald, Kirk Cousins, Mari Cooper, Rashad Bateman and Call to Arms Matt Ryan. Oh wait, no, it was Henry Ruggs was not this year, it was last year, so okay. <laughs> I was getting my ears confused. Mike Kosecki, Tony Boselli, Marquise Brown, Robbie Anderson, Robert Woods, Jair, Andre Cisco, and Josh Allen, Stefan Diggs, Thunder and Lightning. Thunder and, well, lightning. Lightning, I heard that it was a mistake and it's supposed to be lightning. Let's see, is this a patch or no? I don't think that that's a patch. I have yet to get an auto out of a blaster, so hopefully one of these two blasters that I pulled out for you guys has an auto. And I've opened probably about 15... Travis Kelsey, Nick Chubb, Joey Boza, Chris Carson, Jesse Tuggle, Jalen Regor, Nico Collins, and behind the numbers, George Kittle. All right, that has a patch in it, so I'm putting that one, saving that one for last. Darn it. 
I don't like to spoil things, but if it has a patch in it, I'm going to set it to the side. Because even, even that's a hit, so I'll set it to the side. And I like to save it for last. Stefan Diggs, Mo Ali Cox, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, CD Lamb, Brian Burns, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Ermu, Sm Ermu whatever, Smith Marset, George Kittle. Cannot pronounce that man's name. Marlon Humphrey, Tyron Matthew, Ben Roethlisberger, Brian Erlacher, Jalen Ramsey, Kid Reporter in the back. Adam Thielen, Ernest Jones, and J.K. Dobbins. This year is actually, well, I mean, I don't know if it's special is the right word, but it's pretty cool to me because this year is the same year these players that are drafted are as old as me. So, well, I mean, most of them are because last year was my senior year of college. So most of them in this year are old, as old as me or around the same age. Miles Garrett, Derwin James Jr., uh, Warren Moon, Marquez Valdez-Scanling, Jamal Adams, Sam Darnold, Rach, Rachie McMath, and Rondell Moore. This one is an insert, so I'll top load him. And the patch card, I believe. Uh, Kendrick Bourne, Julio Jones, J.K. Dobbins, Zach Ertz, Rob Gronkowski, Khalil Mack, Odefe Owa, I don't know how to say his name. Oh, I don't know if I spoiled it or not, but we got Cornell Powell. Cornell Powell. I probably will actually have to go in the other room for my other um, room for a minute and get some more thick top loaders. I forgot that both contenders and um, playoff have patch cards. Cornell Powell. Uh, which one do I take down? I'll take him down. All right. We'll uh, do illusions. Then we'll go back to playoff. Or actually, after this, we'll go. We'll do the contenders blaster because we're gonna finish with the contenders mega. So after this, we'll do the contenders blaster. Then the playoff blaster, then the mega, because the mega has an auto, or at least it should. Three five three oh seven. I honestly, I'm trying to think. I think I only got. Five or six of these, so I honestly don't add, didn't never got too many of these illusions blasters. I have I got quite a few packs, but not a whole lot of blasters. So I don't really know what the best stuff you could get out of these are, but they're always fun to rip. Uh, Justin Jefferson. Justin Fields, top load him. Jalen Darden, 43 out of 125. So this one is numbered. I'll top load that one. Javante Williams. Keen Nuangu and Saquon Barkley. Yeah, see, these are just most of them are just stacked with rookies. So I like to that's why I like to open these, is because they're super rookie heavy. Dwayne Eskridge. Uh, Semi Fohoko, I don't know what's his name. Stefan Diggs. Trevor Lawrence, nice. Shining Stars. Davis Mills and Rob Gronkowski. So 
has a green thing. I don't know what this could be. Matthew Stafford, King of Cards. Oh, yeah, I remember getting one of these. It was of Kyler Murray. I like these. Uh, <laughs> with another deck behind. Des Fitzpatrick, Antonio Gibson, and Terrence Marshall Jr., Javante Williams, Matt Ryan, Josh Palmer, King of Cards, Joe Burrow. This I think that this is the second one of the this card that I got. I got the same exact one, I think, a few two breaks ago. DJ Moore and Pat Fumuth. This one looks sparkly. Russell Wilson, Ian Book. This one is sparkly. I think it has a different texture than the other ones, so that is super sweet. Nico Collins, Deshaun Watson, Jamar Chase. There you go, top load in, Jerry Judy. Nico Collins again, Dak Prescott. Uh, Sean Taylor, Jameson Crowder, TJ Chark, and Taysom Hill. I don't think one rookie came out of that last pack. Oh, wow. Quite a few top load worthy cards out of there, in my personal opinion. Jamar. This Ian Book, that's, I mean, future will tell how he is. Joe Burrow, the Tiger King, Desk, Dak Prescott, um, not much to say about him. I mean, who, who, I don't know, who runs it on Fourth and wait, what was it? Fourth and tw ten or twenty or something to win the game with barely any time left. Oh man, I was really hoping that they would win this last the last game. Cause I knew, I knew if we had a, I knew if we were gonna lose, it's gonna be San Francisco. I knew it. Dallas was. I think the only shot we had to not play San Francisco. Javante Williams, he's a stud. Jalen. Jalen Darden, I don't really know much about him. And Justin Fields. Obviously, he is the Bears' next greatest, worst quarterback. All right. We'll do this next. And then the playoff. Zero eight eight to oh three. All right, here we go. Uh, Tyler Lockett. James Robinson. 
JJ Watts, Devontae Parker, Joe Burrow, uh, T.Y. Hilton, and final score, uh, Bob Grease. Bob Grease, so that one's going to the Dolphins. I don't know if that's a patch or not. I don't know if that's a patch or not, so I'm going to put these ones on the bottom, actually. Can't tell. Uh, DJ Chark, DeAndre Hopkins, Tua Tagu Valoria, I don't know how to say his name, uh, Chase Claypool, Carson Wentz, Terry McLaurin, and Trevor Lawrence. And that's a nice one. Take Colin out. Antonio Gibson. Derek Carr. Christian McCaffrey. Taysom Hill. Jerry Judy. DK Metcalf. And Aaron Rodgers, the GOAT. Kevin Ridley, Justin Jefferson, Joe Mixon, Jamison Crowder, Devontae Adams, Josh Jacobs, and Kirk Cousins, MVP. That is a patch. That one is. This one I also thought might have been a patch. Darnell Mooney, Saquon, Jared Goff, Jimmy Garoppolo, Lucia Chenault, Matt Ryan, Brett Favre. And here is the patch. Mike Gusecki, T. Higgins, Marcus May, uh, Chase Young, Henry Ruggs, Khalil Mack. And let's see who it is. Chubb. <laughs> Chubba Hubbard. Chubba Hubbard is the patch here. So, fun fact also, I was curious because uh, working at the factory that I worked at, that I mentioned before, um, I was curious about these patches, you know, where they came from. And I guess... Literally, they came from the factory that I um, worked at in uh, Berlin, Wisconsin. So all the patches that you see inside of these patch cards, they, I mean, they were, so what they did was they made a Chubba Hubbard jersey, one for him to actually wear, um, and then they ended up just, instead of sending it to the team, they ended up sending it to um, Panini to cut up, so... That is how they, the goats, have you been watching? <laughs> I'll be back in a second. I'm going to go grab some thicker top loaders, but um, <laughs> come on. Yeah, Dan. Dan, you are you are absolutely right with that. And that's exactly what I think too. I think Rogers uh I mean sure it might be biased, but Rogers definitely has the way better um 
skill in my eyes. But Brady has the better team, and I think, um, you know, what it takes to be a leader. Because Rodgers, uh, he wants top dollar for his skill and ability. And Brady, he wants the best team. So he ta he'll take a pay cut for the better team. Let's get some bills. Oh, yes, Daniel. Honestly, I I never really think about it when I'm doing my breaks unless a team is just getting all the hits. But I never really think about what teams aren't getting hits. And come to think of it, bills have lacked hits lately. So that would be very nice. All right, playoff. Hopefully we get an auto for once. I've been, I mean, I don't understand how I haven't gotten one yet, but it took me forever. It took me probably a hundred blasters before I got my first on-campus card and I'm not joking. And after I got my first one, I got Two other on campuses. Chuck, who took the four unsold teams here, he got my first on campus that I ever opened. No cow pits yet? No, no, no cow pits yet. <laughs> Got to think of that also. All right. Dan Marino, Ryan Tannehill, uh, Max Crosby, DK Metcalf, Russell Gage, Jalen Hurts, Cornell Powell, and Cam Newton. All right, good check. Messages real quick. I got one. I got another message from someone else. Will I be uploading to YouTube? I will be uploading it to YouTube. All right. Jerome Bettis, Devontae Parker, CJ Henderson, Mike Evans, Darnell Mooney, uh, Matt Ryan, Dimitri Felton, Brandon Ayuk, and Kidder Porter. Thought that might have been a patch, but nope. Joe Namath, Patrick Mahomes, OBJ, Darius Slayton, Cameron Jordan, Andy Dalton, Tyson Campbell, and Javante Williams. I don't know. I think that that's a patch, though, so I'm saving that one for last. <laughs> Typically, I cannot tell with playoff, but I think that one I was able. I think that one I'm able to tell that that's a patch. I don't know though. Josh Jacobs, Eric Ebron, Tua, AJ Terrell, Lawrence Taylor, Tom Brady, uh, Aaron Robinson, and Thunder and Lightning, George Kittle, and Brandon Ayuk. Kedrick Porter, James Robinson, Michael P. Ryan, John Elway, Nick Boza, Dante Culpepper, Kenny Galladay, Michael Carter, and Kellen Mond. Rookie Wave. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mac Jones, barely any Mac Jones so far. Jeez. But that'll change when we get the one of one Mac Jones. In the mega box. Or Trey Lance. Jeez. <laughs> Baker Mayfield. Justin Herbert. Randall Cobb. Alvin Kamara. Joe Theismann. Uh, Chandler Jones. Luke Farrell. And rookie waves. Davis Mills. Let's 
What does it say? Red Rookie Wave. Um, 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 um. They're not numbered, are they? I remember getting a red card out of, uh, I think it was a Mega, and it was numbered, but I don't think that... Uh, the I don't know if the red rookie waves are worth. Well, I mean they're obviously worth more than the non-red ones, but I don't know how much more they are worth. So for playoff, I would assume that that's a pretty decent hit, and it being a quarterback. Kater Porter, uh, Keenan Allen. David Johnson, Zayman Howard, Joe Mixon, Matthew Safford, Robert Tanyan, Tyler Lockett, Javante Williams, and this one is, is this one, is it 88, Terrence Marshall Jr. So, what is that, two of the four patches came from the Panthers, It's not from any specific game or event either. So Panthers, typically a slept-on team, has been doing decent this break. What other patches? It was a Pat Fumuth, and it was Chuba. That's right. So Carolina. And now there's going to be two more patches, and these have an autograph. So these are pretty sweet. I mean, <laughs> 112 cards. It's a lot of cards. Typically when I get to the Mega, I'm like, oh, my gosh. Break is almost over. But now it's like it's almost over. But one of these is like three blasters. Yep. Well. Yeah, it's like three blasters. Oh, man. it's a lot of packs. All right. It is 09017. We, we only got one card, though, so far that I have to shuffle and send to a team. To figure out what team it's going to. This is also going to be challenging to determine which one has the auto in it. So I'm going to save the auto for last. And the patches. So no patch here. Alright, here we go. Terry McLaurin, Aaron Donald. I don't know what the autos look like, so for this first Mega, if I spoil it, I'm sorry. I will try to save it for last. DJ Moore, Evan Kamara, Drew Locke, Russell Wilson, Jonathan Taylor, and Rookie of the Year, Terrence Marshall Jr., Uh, Cooper Cup, Sam Darnold, Michael Thomas, Mari Cooper, Justin Herbert, Mark Andrews. I think that this one is the auto since it's backwards, so I'm going to set that one down and reveal it later. All right, I think that that's the auto since the barcode was backwards. And that's a patch, so I'm going to set that one down also. Uh, Fletcher Cox, Brandon Cooks, Julio Jones, Joey Boza, Stephon Diggs, Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, Brett Favre, Gladiators.
Travis Kelsey, Lamar Jackson. I don't know if anyone – I realized this when I was doing basketball, but I don't know if anyone realizes this or realizes this, but seat is number, row is their height, so he's 6'2". Section is their weight, so 212. Uh, Dalvin Cook, so he's pretty short, 5'10". Miles Garrett, uh, Miles Sanders – Jair, he's also pretty short. Well, I'm 5'3", so I have no room to talk. <laughs> Chris Godwin and Lamar Jackson winning tickets. These aren't numbered, are they? No. It's still a nice insert. Keenan Allen. Corey Davis. TJ Hawkinson. Nick Boza, Tyreek Hill, Hayden Hurst, Kirk Cousins, Michael Thomas. Well, no matter what happens, I'm glad that so far, I mean, it looks like that is the auto, and we got an auto here and not Panini points. Uh, Baker Mayfield, Jalen Hurts, Aaron Jones, Rob Gronkowski, Allen Robinson, Kenny Galladay, DeAndre Swift, and Jamar Chase. Top load this bad boy. Nice one. Cow Pitts. Wait, was there a Cow Pitts that came out? Or is that is that who you're hoping the auto is? I don't, I don't think it, I opened a Cow Pitts yet. Kyler Murray, Josh Allen, Jacoby Myers, Zeke Elliott. Not one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. That is honestly crazy. And I don't think we've opened one Mac Jones yet either. Juju, David Johnson, Derrick Henry, Zeke Elliott. Nelson Aguilar, Dak Prescott. Ben Roethlisberger, Randall Cobb, A.J. Brown, Matthew Safford, Chadavis White, and Plaxico Burris. Not a rookie. All right, one of these next packs, five packs should have a, another patch in it, right? Two patches and an auto. Jamison Crowder, Devontae Adams, Josh Jacobs, Darnell Mooney, Saquon, Jared Goff, Jimmy Garoppolo, and Andrew Whitworth. No patch either. Lavishka Chenault, Matt Ryan, Mike Kosecki, T. Higgins, Marcus May, Chase Young, Henry Ruggs. I'll just put him to the side. I don't even know how many other Henry Ruggs there are. Stefan Diggs. I'll just put him to the side. Oh, I think that that's the patch. All right. Devontae Parker, Joe Burrow, T.Y. Hilton, Antonio Gibson, Derek Carr, Christian McCaffrey, Taysom Hill, and Earl Campbell. Jerry Judy, DK, DJ Chark, DeAndre Hopkins, Tua. Oh, these are so many cards. Chase Claypool, Carson Wentz, and Patrick Mahomes. Supernatural. I like that. And here should be a patch. So we got this patch. The other one, and this one. All right, so... Khalil Mack, Daniel Jones, Von Miller, Tyler Lockett, James Robinson, J.J. Watts, T.L.A. Who could this be? T.L.A. Bad with guessing. Trey Lance. Nice. Trey Lance. And Clinton Portis. Portis. So... 
It's not associated either. Didn't think so, but still, it's a nice patch. It's going to San Fran. Next patch. Uh, Damian Harris, Mike Evans, Tyron Matthew, Marquise Brown, Adam Thielen, Nick Chubb, MJO, Mac Jones. Oh, look at that. That's what I was saying before. Not one. I said not one Trey Lance and not one Mac Jones. But this one is double. Oh, interesting. It is not numbered. So Mac Jones, Ryan Tannehill there. This one is not numbered. Oh, that corner, that top left corner. I'm gonna, yeah. I don't know. I'm not going to do anything to it, but I don't know if you could save. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if there's anything that you could do to it. I'm not going to mess it up. I don't want to, but. Actually, that top right corner also there. Well, quality control with Panini always sucks. We all know that, but still not a bad card. I'm shocked, though, that it's not numbered or anything with the two patches there. Interesting. Uh, it's a nice card still, though. All right, and the auto. Auto. We got Mark Andrews. Get a, oh, okay, so I got to do another one of these. And the auto is Broncos. Seth Williams is the auto. Seth Williams. So that's going to Denver. Dang, I was Roger. What I, what was actually going through my head right now, <laughs> or after I opened up, um, the Trey Lance first. I was like, if because I I was I was saying before that we we didn't get a Mac Jones Trey Lance or a um, Cal Pitt. So I was like, <laughs> that'd be something if we got all three of those. Trey Lance, Mac Jones, and Kyle Pitts. Well, we got two of the three. I was hoping that this one was going to be a Kyle Pitts. But um, anyways, it is a break. Um, I will do these two cards real quick. Give them winners for this one and this one. All right. So, put my camera here. Can make sure that uh, this one, Broncos and Jets. So, Roberts has the Jets. All right, so let's see if I can zoom in. Zoom in. No, that's me. There we go. All right. Dice roller. Actually, coin flipper. There we go. Oh, wait. Hold on. No, nah, I'm just going to do a dice roller. <laughs> that one's easier. All right. Roll one dice. Um, so what I do for this is top card is odds, bottom or top of the card or left of the card is odds, bottom or right is evens. So top odd, bottom even, top odd, bottom even. So this one, this is for Elijah Moore and uh, Javante Williams. If it's odd, then it goes to Jets. If it's even, it goes to Broncos. So roll the dice, and it's odd. So this is going to the Jets. This one, same thing. Odd or even. 
are even. I don't think it rolled. We'll roll it. And that one was even. So that's going to the Patriots. So Jets is getting this card. Patriots is getting this one. All right, so that is um, the break. Thank you all for participating. I have one that's ending soon. And um, and uh, I will probably be doing the same Zach break next weekend also if you were if you liked it. So um, thank you all again once again for participating. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, I will have these all out to you. I mean, I'll package them up immediately afterwards, and uh, they will be out very shortly. So, well, I mean, within the next 24 hours. So hopefully you get them very soon. Anyways, thank you all once again, and have a good Friday.